Hey guys, welcome to Australian Volleyball Warehouse. Uh, we're here today to do a bit of a product review uh, and unboxing um, of this thing. Um, what we've got today is um, one of our sort of probably lesser known products in terms of product knowledge from customers. Um, most of our customers are pretty uh, well versed in the products that we sell, but um, this particular unit is something that not a lot of people know much about. We get lots of questions. Um, it's the sports tutor, uh, volleyball tutor ball machine, so ball shooting machine. Um, we're gonna need a couple of tools to put the thing together. I won't bore you with that. We'll, we'll do a bit of a uh, time lapse on, on the construction of it, but basically you need uh, a couple of small spanners to put the wheels on, uh, seven eighths, or you can substitute for 11 mil if, you're, uh, if you've only got metric. Uh, and you're gonna need a couple of 9 16 spanners, which if you, again, if you've only got metric, just grab 15s and that'll do the job. Um, that's all you need. Very little to it um, in terms of putting it together. Um, so here we have the base or pole unit that the thing stands on. Um, these are numbered to fit with the base. So when you get it, if you well, if you're buying a multiple machines, you, you need to make sure that you, your numbers match up. Um, yeah, just four bolts and washers uh, with nuts there to, to attach that one. Um, cut this thing open, Let's see what we've got. Okay. On the top, one base plate which is numbered and matches the pole, which is a good thing. Tons of bubble wrap and Air cell, okay, and a head unit, and a box of bits. Let's see what's in here. Here's something in it. Casters, okay, so we've got the wheels in here. Um, big box for four casters and not a lot else, but I guess it fills a void in here and helps protect the thing in travel. So um, then we've got the main head unit, which is fairly heavy. Okay, so then we've got the main head unit here. Um, so over on this side, we've got all our control box and then we've got uh, a drop down or step down inverter to convert the machine to Australian 240 volt. Um, these things are made in America um, and they run 110 volts over there. So their voltage system or the power system is different to ours. Um, it's a different frequency as well to ours. So um, if you get a machine from us that comes already with the step down uh, inverter on it, um, all set up and ready to go. So uh, th this is the US plug here, um, which you literally just plug into the back of your step down inverter. And then you just switch that on once it's plugged in. And then, then you've got your regular 240 volt Australian plug on the front to plug straight into the wall and, and on off here and off you go. Um, so we've traveled far and wide um, looking at these machines, we, we constantly get people asking us, oh, have you seen this one? Have you seen Aircat? Have you seen this? Have you seen that? Um, short answer is yes, we have. Um, we've been, I've been to the States three or four times um, and I always check out um, all the new um, equipment and all, all the various different machines that have popped up onto the market. Um, I've probably looked at 20 or 30 of them. Um, Sports Tutor are the industry leaders in this sort of equipment. They're not kind of a backyard operation that just makes, you know, one or two kind of specific products. Um, they're literally the market leaders in in spitting balls out. Um, they, they, in the tennis market, in the baseball market, where ball machines are really common and really huge, they, they're at the forefront. They, they really lead the way. Um, their research and development department is amazing. Um, when we first went over there and, and said, look, we're interested in selling your machines in Australia, um, 
they went out, they, they bought a 240 volt generator and created a whole um, testing bench um, to set up their gear and ensure that it was tested properly um, and thoroughly and the, the electronics in the control box have all been adjusted and customised yeah. to suit the 240 volt and, and our frequency of power here in Australia. Um, they don't do things by halves and it's really, it's really, it's good. Like this unit here, I, I've plugged the back in already. I, I could literally plug that into power now and start shooting balls. It comes out of the box ready to go for Australian conditions, which is for most people really, really critical. They're not cheap pieces of equipment um, and knowing that the entire thing as it comes out of the box is backed by the factory warranty is a really, um, it's a really good feeling. It gives you a real, um, a, a lot of confidence um, and a lot of security that your investment is protected. So um, that's that's it. That's how it goes. Um, hopefully we can fire it up later on and maybe shoot a couple of balls. Um, this one's off to a customer and they expect to get it in brand new condition. So um, I'll, I'll screw it together and I'll undo it again, but I'm not gonna start shooting balls with it without their permission first. So. We'll make some calls and see what we can do. But um, yeah, so the, the, the two critical questions we always get with these things is how powerful is it and what do they cost? Well, I can tell you the cost wise that varies based on, um, on currency fluctuations and, and on freight um, at the time. So um, you'll find on our website some indicative pricing of what the cost of the machine has been uh, in the past when we've, we've bought them in over the years um, for people. Um, and that'll give you a bit of an idea on, on based on the currency rate then to now of, of roughly where it will be. Um, in terms of the power of the machine, um, hopefully we can let it speak for itself, but um, there's three models in the Sports Tutor range. There's the Silver, Silver Pro and Black. This is the Black, which is the top model. It's the strongest. Uh, obviously, it's the most expensive. Um, and look, it, this thing shoots a ball out at about 135 kilometers an hour. Um, very, very strong, um, very, very strong. So um, yeah, that's, that's about it for now. Um, I'm gonna get stuck into putting this thing together, a little time lapse, and then uh, and then we'll run you through some of the features um, once it's in one piece. Cool, see ya. Okay, welcome back guys. We're all built. Uh, that took a little longer than it needed to. Um, but uh, yeah, I can assure you it's quite simple. Four wheels and one base. Um, so machines all put together now. Um, we've got a control box here, as I explained before, with the two knobs. You've got a simple on off um, and a power cord coming out. Inverter, which also uh, has a switch on the back here that just needs to be turned on. Um, and then you've got all your controls for your machine. Everything's operated from the back here, so you can tilt the thing down to shoot balls at people, you can tilt the thing back up vertical so you can fire them straight up into the air. Um, obviously you can spin this thing in 360 degrees. Um, so yeah, very quick and easy to use. Um, and, and look, that's the beauty of the machine. As I said before, um, we've tested so many of these um, over the years from different manufacturers uh, and we found that, that the Sports Tutor is by far the, uh, the the best compromise and look there is a compromise with it. Some of the machines are extremely good at setting, some of the machines are extremely good at, um, at serving but this is the machine that's going to give you the most um, hours of use in the gym in our opinion. Um, now, the number one question everyone <laughs> wants to know is how hard does it shoot a ball? And hopefully we get to show you, but if we don't, all I can go by is the figures. Now, there's three models. The base model is the silver. Uh, that fires a ball out at about 95 kilometers an hour. The model up from that, which is the silver pro, that shoots a ball out at 120 kilometers an hour 
uh, at maximum. Uh, and then the black, which is this model here, will shoot a ball, um, according to their figures, at 135 kilometers an hour. To put that in some sort of perspective for you, 2018 um, Volleyball Nations League, uh, Zaitsev broke the world record for a serve at 134 kilometers an hour. Um, so, look, whether the thing achieves 135 or not, um, I'm sure if they're claiming it that they've tested it, but even if it's slightly below that, that's a world record. Um, this thing's gonna pump balls out um, at a rate of knots uh, that is gonna be excessive uh, for most um, uses within, within Australia. Um, certainly at school and club level, um, I don't know that there's people around breaking world records. So um, that really is the number one question that everyone's got. How strong is it? How strong is it? When people ask, I always say to them, look, you can you never have too much power when they're asking what model should I get. Obviously, the more powerful it is, the more you pay. But these dials, they all start at zero, okay? So you can dial a thing back to set a really nice gentle ball out um, on any of the models. When it comes time to crank the thing up because you want to replicate spiking or you want to replicate a big jump serve, the more power you've got, the more you're going to be able to replicate a, a game type situation. Um, and that's what it's all about. Um, the, I spoke briefly about the versatility of this machine. One of the things with this, you'll notice the release points up about head height, which obviously, you know, I mean, my reach is about top of the net. Um, it's obviously below top of the net and, and for defense drills and things like that, it's nice to get the machine up higher. Um, in the States, there's a, a lot of the manufacturers that make things like rest stands and, and net systems and that, they actually make um, uh, fittings and adapters um, to drop this head unit straight into. Um, Sports Tutor don't make them um, themselves, but they're, they're readily available throughout the industry. And to be honest with you, if someone wanted an adapter or something like that to be able to mount this, say, onto an Acromat referee stand so that they could get up on a rest stand and, and shoot balls down at somebody, we could fabricate that together for them um, very, very easily. We don't sell enough of these machines in Australia to justify sort of by making those things in advance and keeping a stock of them, but by no means does that mean that there's any reason why we can't make it for you. Um, actually a very, very simple uh, little uh, little piece of equipment to make. Um, the other thing that I have seen people do really easily um, is make an extension for this pole. So if I lift this off, you'll see here where the pole is, okay? So if you can imagine there, you just slot another section of pole in and then you can raise the unit up to whatever height you want to start at and you've still got the benefit of the casters being able to roll it around. So you could effectively have this for standing and then you could put a section in to raise it up. Again, stand on your rest stand or your table or whatever other occupational health and safety uh, um, approved device that you've got to, uh, to stand up on um, and then you've got the machine, you roll, roll it up and away you go. Um, there's a lot of machines around that run hoppers and things like that to feed balls in. To be quite honest, when I've used this machine, I, I'm adjusting angles and directions or whatever so frequently that that kind of stuff just gets in my way. It, it's much easier to just grab a ball out of the trolley and push it into the machine and go and just shoot it. You don't need to be trying to feed a hopper and it's getting in your way and you you know, it, it just makes no sense. Just ball trolley, machine goes in, bang, and it shoots. Simple as that. Okay, so we've rigged up some power to plug in here. Inverter on, and machine on, and we are spinning. You can see there that the motors are just coming up. I've got the top motor on four, I've got the bottom motor on three. Um, fairly low speed. I can dial these right back and you can hear them there just winding down. They take a second to get down to, 
to their actual steady pace. If you're shooting a boil, obviously it slows the motor down quicker. Um, and then if we want to crank these things up all the way to 10, they are absolutely humming. Um, and you can see now why the thing can generate the speed that it can. There's, there's oodles of power in this thing. Um, I'm just going to turn that back down. So we're on about we're on about three there. I just happen to have a ball, and I'm pretty sure nobody wants those knee pads now. Um, all right. I'm going to turn this thing off before I start breaking stuff, but uh, yeah, awesome little machine, um, loads and loads of grunt, um, yeah, I'm glad I did that and not one of the guys in the factory because I'd probably be fairly grumpy with them right now, but um, yeah, I'm going to turn this thing off before I damage it, put it back in the box and send it to the customer. Um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching.